In this video, we're going to showcase an indicator that is going to allow you to take long positions whenever the market is at swing lows and short positions whenever the market is at swing highs. This is going to be in the direction of the overall market trend, which means we're going to add a trend confirmation indicator and craft a fully functional and profitable trading strategy. If you find value in this video, remember to leave a like. Let's get into it. So, the indicator that we're talking about is called Median Proximity Percentile. To add it to your chart, you first of all want to go to Trading View. This is the charting platform that I'm going to be using. And then you want to select any trading security that you like in any time frame. For me, I'm going to go with the 5 minute time frame of JPPJPY. And then you want to access the indicator search tab so we can search for this indicator. To do that, you need to click on the indicators button. After that, type in Median Proximity Percentile and you're gonna select this one created by Algo Alpha. The Median Proximity Percentile is a sophisticated trading tool used for market analysis in financial trading. To understand it better, let's explore its components. On the chart, you will notice small dots colored in teal and red. On the settings of this indicator, these dots are referred to as plots, which isn't a very descriptive name. And then we do have the whole MA, which as you can see, whenever I toggle this on and off, the whole MA happens to be one of the lines on this red teal oscillator. And then we have another plot, which is the second line of this oscillator. And it appears that the difference between the two lines is filled with this red and teal color, creating this oscillator. And this is going to be our trend identification oscillator. Whenever it's colored teal, like here, that indicates that the market is in a short term bullish trend. If it's colored red, that indicates a short-term bearish trend. And then we have these dots printed along this oscillator. The green dots are labeled as bearish swing, as you can see here, and the red dots are labeled as bullish swing. And they are used to indicate a shift in market trend from bearish to bullish and vice versa. Now, while we're in the settings, let's change this tail color to green, because I think it's better to have red and green as opposed to red and teal. See, looks much better now. Then on the style tab, we're gonna disable this first plot. After that, click OK. Now, in order to use this indicator to trade, we would need to add two more indicators to the chart. Open the indicator search tab and type in AI Trend Navigator and select this one created by Xiamen. Next, type in Laurentian Classification, this one by JD Hordy. Next, we will access each of these indicator settings in order to modify them to suit our strategy. But before that, let's talk about my favorite Forex broker called Fintura. I've been using them for quite some time. As you can see here, this is my live account on MT4. Yes, MT4 is the trading platform used by Fintura. The reason why I think Fintura is a great broker is because of their low commissions as well as spreads that go as low as 0.0 pips. They also have a maximum leverage of 1 to 500, you know, for those of you who love high leverage. If all of this isn't enough, they're also going to give you a 100% deposit bonus for all your first deposits of between $100 all the way to $50,000. So if you deposit, say, $5,000, they're going to give you a bonus of $5,000. So in total, you'll have $10,000 to trade with. To access the bonus, as well as all the other perks, sign up to Fintura using the link in the video description. Now, let's get back to the video. Where were we? Oh, we're supposed to access the settings of these indicators and, you know, change them to suit our strategy. So double click on the AI trend navigator, then on the style tab, disable the KNN classifier line and then increase the thickness of the average KNN classifier to make it a bit thicker. After that, click OK. Next, double click on the Laurentian classification indicator, then on the style tab, disable the kernel regression estimate, disable the stop buy, disable the stop sell, disable the bar color, disable the labels, and disable the tables. After that, click OK. The AI Trend Navigator indicator is designed to predict market trends using the K nearest neighbors algorithm, also known as KNN, which sounds a bit fancy, but it basically works similar to the EMA, which means a bullish trend is going to be identified when the price is consistently trading above this trend ribbon. On the other hand, a bearish trend happens when the price is consistently trading below this trend ribbon. Simple. The Laurentian classification indicator is going to be giving us the buy and sell entry signals. A green upward arrow like this one is a buy signal. Whenever it's printed, it indicates a potential entry point for long positions. 
On the other hand, a red downward arrow like this one indicates a sell signal. Whenever it's printed, it indicates a potential entry point for short positions. Now, similar to the AI trend navigator, the Laurentian classification aims to predict the direction of future price movements using a novel implementation of an algorithm called Approximate Nearest Neighbors, or ANN. Now, to take a long trade using these three indicators combined, these are the conditions. First, the median proximity percentile, which is this oscillator right here, should be colored green to indicate that the market is in a short-term bullish trend. Second, we need a buy signal to be printed by the Laurentian classification indicator, basically a green upward arrow like this one. Condition number three is that at the time the buy signal is printed, we need this oscillator to be above the midline, like it is right here. If it happens to be below the midline, that entry becomes invalid. The last condition is that we need the market to be in a long-term bullish trend. To confirm that, you just make sure that the signal candle opens and closes above this trend ribbon of the AI trend navigator. As you can see, this is our signal candle because we have this buy signal here, and the same candle opened and closed above this trend ribbon, making this a valid entry. Because of that, we're gonna enter a long position here. We're gonna set the stop loss right below the most recent swing low, and for the take profit, we're gonna target 1.5 times the risk. Letting this trade run. And as you can see, it hits take profit. Now, to open a short position, we're gonna do the opposite. So first, the median proximity percentile, this oscillator, should be colored red. This indicates that the market is in a short-term bearish trend. Second, we need a sell signal to be printed by the Laurentian classification indicator, basically a red downward arrow like this one. Condition number three is that at the time the sell signal is printed, we need this oscillator to be below the midline, like it is right here. If it happens to be above this midline, that entry becomes invalid. The last condition is that we need the market to be in an overall bearish trend. To confirm that, you just make sure that this signal candle opens and closes below this trend ribbon of the AI trend navigator. As you can see, this is the signal candle because we have the sell signal here and the same candle opened and closed below the trend ribbon. Because of that, we're gonna enter our short position here. We're gonna set the stop loss right above the most recent swing high. For the take profit, we're gonna target 1.5 times the risk. Letting this trade run and take profit. In summary, the strategy showcased in this video employs the median proximity percentile, the AI trend navigator, and the Laurentian classification indicators to identify optimal trade entries. By analyzing specific indicator signals and trends, traders can effectively determine bullish and bearish market conditions and make more informed trading decisions. That's been it for this video. I hope you found some value. If you did, hit the like button below and consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next time.